Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and today we're talking about an indie game that's been flying under the radar, but could just be the next big thing Haunted Chocolatier. If you're into indie games, then you're probably already excited about this one. But if you haven't heard of it yet, don't worry I'm here to fill you in on why this game might just spill some new blood into the indie gaming scene. So what's Haunted Chocolatier all about? Well, it's the next game from Eric Baron, the genius behind Stardew Valley. That's right, the same guy who turned farming simulators into one of the most beloved genres out there is back, and this time he's mixing things up with a haunted chocolate making adventure. The game combines the cozy vibes of Stardew Valley with a spooky, fantastical twist, and it's already got fans buzzing with excitement. But what's really interesting about Haunted Chocolatier is how it could shake up the indie gaming world. Indie games have a strong following because they often bring something fresh and unique to the table and this game looks like it's going to do just that. Instead of sticking to the tried and true formula of farming and village life, Haunted Chocolatier introduces a new blend of shop management, chocolate crafting and even combat. Yeah, you heard that right combat in a cozy game. This could be a game changer for the genre, pushing indie developers to explore new themes and mechanics that we haven't seen before. Now, let's talk about the potential impact this game could have. If Haunted Chocolatier is anything like Stardew Valley, it's going to inspire a wave of new games trying to capture that same magic. But instead of just another farming simulator, we might see more games with supernatural elements, quirky mechanics, and maybe even a focus on running your own business in a spooky setting. The possibilities are endless, and it's this kind of innovation that keeps the indie gaming scene so exciting. And let's not forget the man behind the curtain, Eric Baron. He's not just a game developer, he's a trendsetter. Stardew Valley didn't just succeed, it redefined what an indie game could be. With Haunted Chocolatier, he's taking a risk by stepping away from the farming genre and diving into something new. But if anyone can pull it off, it's him. This game could very well be the start of a new trend in indie gaming, one that blends cozy gameplay with darker, more adventurous themes. So, what do you think? Is Haunted Chocolatier going to be the next big hit in the indie gaming world? Will it spark a new wave of supernatural shop running games? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're as excited about this game as I am, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more gaming content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.